Hey, to all the viewers, welcome back to another episode of First Choice News, bringing you guys all the latest news. Um, in today's episode, I'd like to talk about an amazing discovery of which is the fact of Fukushima. Well, it is reported and proven by Chinese officials and workers at Fukushima that Fukushima itself has a radiation level 168 times that of the Hiroshima atomic bomb. Fukushima is spilling out 10,000 millisieverts an hour. This is an unsurvivably fatal amount of radiation. Two weeks to two months later, you could die from your bone marrow not being able to produce white blood cells or literally from your stomach lining rotting away. Truly deadly stuff going on over there. But for all we know, the Japanese electric company could and most likely are wrong or mistaken. As we all know how many times they have stuffed, the, stuffed up things over the last few years. But we should remember not to blame it on them, as they are trying to help us. Also with Fukushima, Reactor 1 and 2 are literally melting into the ground at the moment. It has been reported and also proven by Fukushima workers that if the reactors melt anymore, they will be melting straight into Japan's water supply leaving all areas surrounding Fukushima to be without water for years, maybe even decades. <laughs> well, now on to another topic. is some could-be good news. It was reported mid-last week that Nibiru was breaking up due to ice sleets crashing with the planet. Then a few days ago, it was reported that Nibiru had been destroyed completely by our sun. But please don't be fooled by NASA and the secret government organization has anyone thought about the basic stuff yet how could nibiru a gigantic planet be destroyed by ice sleets and then if you think about it thir further sorry if nibiru has come around so many times before why would it just vanish this time and even if Nibiru somehow was destroyed, we still have to worry about Comet Elenin, which, may I mind you, is still headed towards, uh, towards Earth. And why haven't the government um, denied Elenin's existence like they did for Nibiru, and denied all claims of alien sightings, abductions, and contact? Because they have no proof against it. I am still here to warn the people of the threat that is coming. Please be prepared. All right, now some, now for some news that may worry some parts of America. A retired general in the army of China has just released information that China have been planning to possibly surprise bomb America. Hillary Clinton then warned all of the following countries, Australia, Britain, Canada, and New Zealand, and warned them to prepare for the possible sneak attack from the Chinese. The Hong Kong paper noted that Zhu said that if China could no longer keep secret its missile launches, it would not be able to launch a surprise attack on the US. This may be the clue in telling us that they will be launching numerous secret attacks against the US and its allies. Alright, now some, for some news on Comet Elenin. Well, not many of you might know this, but Elenin has entered and if far into the inner solar system and is now speeding up its race to the Earth. NASA is also saying that Elenin has been destroyed. But again, please do not listen to them. They have no idea that we have the ability to see past their lies. The threat is still very real, and Elenin and Nibiru are still coming fast. And if not, we have a lot of other things to worry about, may I remind you. Don't forget about World War Three, the nuclear war. Fukushima, spreading radiation all over the world. Natural disasters solar flares, global warming, the thinning of the ozone layer and the magnetosphere slowly dying away. All very real threats to us. Th to us. Remember, please, please prepare. Um, well, I'm afraid that's all I've got for today. Um, thanks for listening to Riley's 2012 updates and I'll see you guys all next episode when I talk about some 
really interesting facts about Nibiru and Elenin and some r- devastating information on Fukushima. Well, I'll see you guys later.